guys welcome back to the youtube channel programming knowledge in today's adobe illustrator tutorials video we are going to see that how can we create this kind of a line text effect in adobe illustrator so in this effect you can easily see that the text which is uh, reading lines is composed of the different lines and this is exactly what we are going to create today uh, you can see that this text is looking pretty cool and it is appealing so when you are using this text in any of your graphics it is definite that it is going to catch some of the users attention so first of all what do we need to do is uh, just open our adobe illustrator and then uh, you got to go to file and click on new this will help you to create a new artboard and as usual i am using a customized 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels uh, artboard and i am going to rename it as lines now for this what i have done is uh, just go to windows and select on workspace and i have chosen an automation workspace why cuz um, we are going to use some of these features which are easily available in this automation workspace first of all uh, grab onto the text tool and type in any text that you want uh, to be composed of the lines in our sample animation we used the text lines so here we are going to use some other text i'm just going to type a simple sample over here then with the help of uh, the text tool just select all your text and change its font type to a gotham ultra and also change its size to a 100 pointer and uh, if you want you can uh, always increase its size using the normal selection tool as well grab on to my text tool again select all the text and just change its color to something else okay so this is the green color that i'm happy with now what i'm going to do is uh, just right click on my text here you will find an option of create outlines so just click on it and you will see that the outlines have been created that means that the text is now not being created as a text but as a shape or an object in adobe illustrator so that's exactly what we wanted now what i'm going to do is just set it to a side for some time and just grab on to my ellipse tool if you cannot find your ellipse tool over here just right click on this small arrow and select the ellipse tool then just click anywhere and change the width and the height of your ellipse tool to a 50 50 and press okay then just reverse its um, dimensions that means we do not need any fill and a stroke we need of a black color so just select on this black color and the stroke width you can increase to a 3 pointer so that it is visible to the eyes then just select the circle press control c to copy it and then control shift v to paste it in the place and then uh, you got to increase its dimensions a little bit by pressing on the shift and the alt key Uh, so these are the dimensions of the circle that i am happy with then what you got to do is just select both of these circles and increase uh, just decrease its stroke width back to a 1.0 then again select both of them go to object here you will find an option of blend so just click on it and here you will find an option of make so just select this make and when you do that uh, this kind of output would be seen so we are going to manipulate it so for that what we are going to do is make sure that uh, your selection is over here just go back to your toolbar and here you will find a blend tool so just double click on it make sure that the spacing is set to specified steps and change the number to a 50 now what you got to do is just drag your uh, sample text over here like this and arrange it so that it is on the front now what we are going to do is just select all these circles go to object and here you will find an option of expand so just click on it and keeping all the settings as same click on okay 
now all these circles are available for selection like this then what you gotta do is just select all of them together then go to windows here you will find an option of pathfinder just click on it so this pathfinder tab will open and in pathfinder you will find an option of outline so just click on it and as soon as you do that you can see that this is the kind of the output that we have got so if we just zoom in into our artboard a little bit so you can see that this is what we have got but still the circles are available for selection which is what we do not want so just right click and select ungroup and now you can see that the single lines are available for selection so just select a single line and here you will find an option of select similar objects and this is exactly why we chose our automation workspace just click on it and all the similar lines would be selected then press ctrl x to just cut them out then press ctrl 0 to just come back to the default zoom percentage press ctrl y to just view all the outlines over here then select them all and delete them then again press ctrl y to come back to this area and press ctrl v to just paste our text which we had cut it before then just zoom in a little bit and select uh, some of these lines like select this line and we are going to manipulate it a little bit so what we are going to do now is just select some of these lines together and uh, I'm just going to increase its stroke width to around a three pointer and just click on this word stroke. Here you will find an option of round join or a bevel join. So I'm just going to select this round join option and along with a round cap. Now if you could just zoom in you can see that these lines have been uh, created like this and that's exactly what we got to do with all of our other lines as well.
so now once you have uh, created or applied this effect to all of your lines you can just press ctrl 0 and see your output like this so that is all in today's adobe illustrator tutorials video and for more such tutorials keep watching the youtube channel programming knowledge